It's undeniable that the Adidas Samba has been one of the most popular sneakers on the market. In today's video, I'm going to give you three things that I think you need to know before you buy yourself a pair of Adidas Sambas. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew. What it do? It's nice to meet you. Let's talk Adidas Samba. One of the most surprising elements about the Adidas Samba for me was comfort. Coming into this review, I had the fear that because the shoes only retail for $100, that there would be some corners cut, specifically in the comfort department. But what I found out is that I'm more than pleased with the comfort of each pair of these Adidas Sambas. My shoe size for most sneakers is a US size 11. I ended up going with a US size 11 for each pair of Sambas that I have here. And each pair fits me really, really well. For context, I have relatively narrow and flat feet. And if you are also someone with narrow or flat feet, I think if you go true to size with a pair of Adidas Sambas, you're going to really enjoy your experience with these sneakers, especially as it pertains to comfort. Where I begin to see issues for certain people with the Adidas Samba is if they have one, a wider foot or two, they have a higher arch on their foot. The Adidas Samba is a flat shoe. It's incredibly low to the ground and you feel the ground as you're walking or taking steps on the sidewalk or in the street. And if you aren't used to that low to ground feel, then you might experience a bit of discomfort when you first put these on. If you have really wide feet, then the shoes might just be too uncomfortable for you plain and simple. You just might not ever find comfort with the Adidas Samba because they are a very narrow shoe. If you own a pair of Adidas Sambas and have a wider foot, what did you do to make them comfortable? Did you size up? Did you have to go one or two sizes up? Did you go half size up? My recommendation would be is if you have a wider foot and you still want to wear the Adidas Samba, I would go a half size up from your typical size just to make sure that you have enough room for your toes to move a little bit in this shoe and that you don't experience discomfort right out the box. A final thought in regard to sizing and comfort for the Adidas Samba is out of all the shoes that I reviewed, put on, tried and wear tested here on YouTube, I would say that the Adidas Samba on average puts itself right smack dab in the middle. It has a very run of the mill, par for the course level of comfort. It's not gonna be something that's ultra plushy or feels like super gushy and soft and, and pliable, like maybe something I think about like the Ultra Boost or Yeezys or something like that, or maybe Crocs or something. It's not something like a pair of New Balances that has a good blend of firmness and really nice comfort. It's just a good average run of the mill. You get what you get, um, you get what you pay for, $100 retail, level of comfort, pair of sneakers, Sneakers. And honestly, as long as you don't have a very wide foot or as long as you don't have a very high arch or you just are impartial towards relatively narrow shoes, you should enjoy the comfort on the Adidas Samba. It's definitely not something you're going to walk a marathon in, but for the run of the mill day to day tasks, it should be more than fine. Next, let's talk about what I'm calling the stylistic longevity of the Adidas Samba. I think we can all agree that the Sambas are a trending sneaker for the year 2023. And while a lot of people wore Sambas much before it was trending, more people than ever care about the Adidas Samba because it is a trending item of footwear. Which makes me beg to ask the question, how long do you think that this trend Will last another four months another six months another eight months your guess is just as good as mine but the reason why i'm pointing out the trendy nature of the samba right now is because i think there's an important distinction between buying something because it's trendy because it has a current value as a trend versus the value that the sneaker holds outside of this kind of moment that it currently is in buying something that is trendy isn't intrinsically bad but buying something that you like and will use far beyond its current value as a trend i think that is the smarter consumer the more mindful consumer decision and it's something that i advise you to do if you're considering buying the adidas samba don't just look at the trend and say i want to be trendy i want to be like this guy or this girl or wear this outfit think about it from a standpoint of how does this item of footwear advance my personal development within my personal style in my opinion as a trend i think the adidas samba will fade out more than ever come summer of 2024 here in the u.s and yet Yes, of course, the Samba will always be an iconic model of footwear for Adidas, but something else will take the mantle as the most desirable sneaker come summer 
2024. That is just the nature of the fashion industry. Things change, trends change, opinions change. You even hear it right now, a lot of people will say that, you know, the Adidas Samba is being played out, you know, it's being oversaturated. And that's just the natural proclivity, the natural progression of how things evolve and continue within fashion. But while the Adidas Samba might not be the trendiest sneaker for forever, I do think that the Samba is one of the most iconic sneakers to ever come from the Adidas camp. And iconic footwear doesn't just cease to exist once it's outlived its current trend cycle. What I'm trying to get at, which is what the initial statement was for this section, is that I think that the Adidas Samba has a good bit of stylistic longevity to it. If you buy a pair now, I have no doubt in my mind, if you take care of them, make sure that they don't get too muggy, too gross, too gruddy, gruddy is that even a word doesn't matter if you take care of them you'll be able to use them and wear them for years and years to come and i think that's dope okay let's talk about buying the right pair of adidas sambas in the context of materials and variants and the fact that there are so many materials and variants out there i don't want you to choose the wrong pair for you the four pairs of adidas sambas that i have are the og cloud white and leather the vegan leather black variant the Wales Bonner collaboration in silver, and the Orange Rush colorway. That's also a OG Samba. Each of these Sambas are slightly different and you wanna make sure that you get the right pair for yourself if you're looking to buy a pair. And to me, I think that the most obvious comparison that we can make right off the bat is the vegan leather version versus the actual leather version. The weight of both of these Sambas is essentially identical. They feel about the same in my hand and they feel about the same on foot. There are some small design cues that differentiate the two pairs. For example, the insole of the vegan leather version denotes that it is in fact a vegan pair of sneakers from Adidas and that they're Sambas. <laughs> Another one of the main differences that I noticed comparing the vegan leather versus the actual leather is that when you actually push into the vegan leather and touch the upper of the vegan leather and just touch the tongue and all the elements of it, it does feel a bit more rigid, a bit harder than the actual leather version is. How can I say that better? Essentially, the vegan leather just feels a bit stiffer while the actual leather has a bit more of a not plush, but definitely has a better feel to it. It feels like you can kind of, it feels like it'll break in quicker and it just feels a little bit nicer to the touch when you press into it. The vegan leather's upper is comprised of 50% recycled plastics according to Adidas. And I assume that the other 50% composition of the shoe is just non-recycled plastic synthetic fabric or synthetic material, which I think is cool, but also has its pros and its cons. As much as I love the push for environmentally friendly products, seeing that the vegan leather version has 50% recycled materials, I do think that the vegan leather version of the Adidas Samba is objectively less comfortable than the regular leather version of the Samba, especially right out the box. Now, I haven't had either pair for very long, so I haven't been able to wear them extensively and really test and see whether or not the vegan leather will actually break in and feel better over time, or if the regular leather will break down and feel worse over time. I just don't have that long-term review in my back pocket. And my opinion may change over time. That's just something that could happen. Not to discourage you if you are someone who is vegan or was looking at the vegan leather version, when I say that the regular leather is objectively more comfortable, I'm not saying that the vegan leather is gonna be something of a horrible experience. I think that for the most part, the comfort levels are comparable. I would give the slight edge to the regular leather version, to the regular leather version. And overall, you are going to enjoy wearing the vegan leather version. It's gonna be comfortable. Like I said, of all the shoes I reviewed, they're all pretty much have the same comfort. And the vegan leather is gonna be that seven out of 10, run of the mill, average score of comfort, and you will enjoy it. I just think that for whatever reason, if you have like maybe a weird bone on the top of your foot, or maybe if you have a very like bony foot or something of the sort, I think that the regular leather version is just gonna feel a bit better on top of your foot. The tongue will and just the materials on it will, will feel just a little bit better right out the box. That's what I've experienced. And if you have a vegan leather version of the Adidas Samba, let us know your experience down in the comments. I would love to hear anyone who has a pair of Sambas, what they've experienced over the last 
20, 30, 40, 50 wears of the shoe. Next, let's talk about the collaboration pair of Adidas Sambas that I have, the Wales Bonner in Silver Adidas Samba. Now, these are definitely one of the most attention-grabbing pair of Adidas Sambas ever to be released. Here's what I'll say about them. From a comfort standpoint, which I think is one of the most important parts about a sneaker, I don't think that you get anything more with the Wales Bonner variant, at least not the silver variant, than you do with the regular GR pairs of Adidas Sambas. They don't have any additional premium materials on them that make the experience different from the other pairs. Obviously, they look a lot different and the materials on them are slightly different, but I would say that the quality of the materials, it's not like going from a luxury sports car down to a midsize SUV. They're both, you know, run-of-the-mill hybrid vehicles. I don't know why I brought up cars as a reference, but I guess that's just where my headspace is at right now. This is gonna be a blanket statement, but I think it's safe to assume that the collaborative pairs of Adidas Sambas, unless there's a specific pair that you've researched, the collaboration pairs are gonna feel, and they're gonna, not look, but they're gonna feel and they're gonna have the same kind of durability as the GR pairs of Adidas Sambas, at least from what I'm experiencing right out the gate. You do get a couple of extra bells and whistles with the Wales Bonner Samba. You get an extra pair of laces, which for these ones, they're like ribbon laces. And then you also get a dust bag, which is also really nice, but unnecessary. I mean, most times no one uses a dust bag. Like, I don't know if I've ever used a dust bag ever on a pair of sneakers, but it's, it's a nice plus to have when I one day do use that dust bag. And unless you're a really big fan of a particular collaborator, I know Wales Bonner has been a fantastic collaborator for the Adidas Samba, and maybe you're a big fan and you really wanna get a pair, then I just would recommend getting a GR pair of Adidas Sambas. I mean, I think you're gonna get the looks, you're gonna get the stylistic appeal, you're gonna get the stylistic longevity, you're gonna get relatively good comfort, and um, you're gonna have to pay less, so. Yeah. And for the record, if you want to know, here are some of my favorite Adidas Samba collaborations. We have the Sporty and Rich collaborations. I think there's a multiple, there's multiple lines of these shoes. There's the Wales Bonner in black, the Wales Bonner in red, the Ajax Bob Marley collaboration, and the Wales Bonner Ekrin or Ekrin Brown colorway. I think that Ekrin Brown is a really, really beautiful pair of of Adidas Sambas. Now for the final piece of advice that I want to bestow upon you as it relates to the Adidas Samba, it's comparing the OG Samba to the classic Samba. Of the four variants that I have, three of them are the OG Adidas Samba, meaning that OG is in the title of the naming convention for this shoe. The biggest distinction between the OG and the classic is the tongue. The OG has your more typical classic looking tongue that you would associate with a pair of sneakers. While the classic has this kind of elongated, you sort of see it in the Wales Bonner Samba that I have here. It has an elongated kind of tongue. That is what you get with the classic and it looks and feels probably much different than what you would expect from the OG. Personally, I think that the OG looks better and when we're talking about the Adidas Samba, most people are referring to the OG look that is the Adidas Samba. We're not typically talking about the classic, but there are tons of other variants even beyond the classic. If you want any of those variants, then I would make sure to do your homework, find the pair that you want. I'd go true to size if you're a size 11, or not if you're a size 11, that doesn't make any sense. I'd go true to size if you have narrow or flat feet. Still, I think all the rules still apply. If you have a bit of a more wider foot, go up a half size. If you have an arch, it might not be the shoe for you, but you can give it a try and see, see how it rocks. But overall, I think that the OG is just gonna be the creme de la creme when it comes to looking and buying Adidas Sambas. And if you disagree, let me know. Um, maybe you have some insight about some of the other pairs, but. I think the OG is what most people want. And I'll say this, don't make the mistake of buying the classic and thinking you're going to get the OG. That would just break my heart if you did something like that. Just do your homework. Know that the OG is this type of shoe right here, has the regular tongue, something that you probably would want, while the classic is going to be something more like this. It's going to have that tongue that kind of extends up and... Um, has a total different look and feel to it. And I've seen people have to cut the tongue off the classic from making the wrong decision when you could just buy the OG, just be better off. <laughs>
Let's get a word in for today's sponsor, Squarespace. Are you interested in making your very own website for a brand or creative project? Squarespace offers a comprehensive amount of features to make the website that you've always dreamed of. If you wanna sell your products direct to consumer or if you just wanna display your body of work, Squarespace makes it easy to do that and more. Currently, I'm using my Squarespace website as a hub for all of my content and all of my social media platforms. And if you needed a sign to help nudge you into creating your first website, this is your sign. Visit squarespace.com slash Drew Joiner for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. The last bit of information that I want to touch on is where to buy your own pair of Adidas Sambas. Now, the obvious route is going to Adidas's webpage or app and finding the Adidas Samba that you like in your size and purchasing it. Adidas has pretty good shipping and they're pretty reliable when it comes to returns, so I don't think you're gonna, have, you're gonna have any issues if you order through Adidas. But for me, I actually went a different route in acquiring each of these pair of Sambas. I guess you could just call it perks of what I do, which is making YouTube videos, but each of these pairs was acquired using StockX. And I use the word acquired because I didn't necessarily buy these. I worked with StockX on a previous campaign and I ended up having to acquire four pairs of Sambas and um, now we're making this video. Nice. But in my experience in working with StockX, and this is not pay promotion at all, um, what I found is that, okay, the StockX, GOAT, eBay, these kind of third party or not third party or resale sites, they have the Adidas Samba, they have colorways like this orange rush, I believe this is the orange rush, or is it orange rush or orange gush? They have colorways like this orange colorway um, for retail that you just can't find on Adidas, right? You won't be able to find some of the more kind of interesting, cooler, more out there colorways on Adidas because they're either sold out or maybe they were only released at a very specific retailer in a part of the country or part of the world that you just don't live in, right? So I would, if you're seriously looking to get something that maybe isn't just the cloud white or the OG white pair or the black vegan leather pair, these pairs are pretty commonly available. If you wanna look somewhere else, I would try, like I said, eBay, StockX, Grailed, uh, the GOAT app, anywhere you can buy sneakers where you're not gonna get gouged for pricing. I think that these are pretty fair pricing on StockX and. I guarantee you can probably find something on there yourself if you hunt a little bit and make sure you know bargain a little bit and you'll be able to find a good pair for a good price absolute final tip that i want to give to you in regards to the adidas samba is do not do not like i if you know what i'm gonna say like do not wear nike socks <laughs> with your adidas sambas okay i'm tired of seeing that okay <laughs> i already know that there are some people with nike socks wearing adidas sambas watching this video right now i want you to slip your foot out of your adidas sambas i want you to roll up your nike socks and i want you to chuck them out of whatever room you're in and go get you some pair of just neutral non Nike socks that you can wear with any shoe that just doesn't have this like very confrontational Nike versus Adidas shoe relationship thing going on. OK, that's that's my final tip to you. OK, of course, this is all jokes, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I obviously don't care what socks you wear with your Adidas Sambas and really no one should. But. I thought it would be a fun little outro. If you have any additional questions about the Adidas Samba or comments or things that I missed, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Um, I really would appreciate reading kind of any advice for myself or other people who are looking to buy the Adidas Samba. That would be really cool for the community. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2023. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you for me. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace. Yo, what is good post vid vid? Here's a fist bump for the one time bop. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I appreciate it dearly. Here is the second fist bump for you guys. Come on, come on, come on. Do a fist bump with me, bro. Bop. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I really, really appreciate it. Do you guys own a pair of Adidas Sambas in the PVV? Or, you know, I've done a good chunk of my channel of talking about new balances are you guys wearing more new balances or do you guys just ignore what i say and just buy whatever you like that's what you should do honestly um but do you own a pair of adidas sambas let me know down in the comments hashtag pvv when you answer 
And if you want a pair of Adidas Sambas and you happen to be a size 11, or if you know someone in your life who happens to be a size 11, your boy doesn't need four pairs of Adidas Sambas. As, as cool as it is to uh, be able to work on this side of fashion and get to experience a lot of different products, there's no way I can wear four pairs of Adidas Sambas. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna give away one of these pairs on Instagram and I'm gonna be giving away, well, I guess I'll be giving away both on Instagram. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of an insight. So for the giveaway, what I'm gonna do, and you know, don't call it cheap. I don't, I don't want any, you know, ruckus about the giveaway. What I'm gonna do is, is that I'm gonna post on my story, and I'm gonna post the first person who can send me a particular emoji can get this pair of Adidas Sambas, and then I'll read and see whoever does it first. And if you do it first, then you'll get the pair shipped out to you. Um, free of charge. I won't charge you for shipping as long as you don't live in, as long as you don't live in, you know, another country. You should be free of charge. But if not, you know, we'll see how it goes. If you live in another country, it's gonna be cost a lot to ship to you. So, you know, I might consider it. But regardless, I'm giving away a pair of Adidas Sambas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, this is something that brought you value. We'll see you guys next week. Um, next week, uh, this is another kind of PVV exclusive, but. Uh, next week, this is actually the final video here in Colorado. Um, I'm moving to New York. It's happening. So, see you guys in New York. See you guys next week. Peace.